the first episode of a, uh, I guess you could call it a mini-series that I'm going to be doing on the uh, Road to Leningrad scenario. Now, I have a multiplayer game here against Gundam 1985. Um, if you are Gundam 1985, please don't watch I me. Mean, that would be very dumb. Lame. Don't cheat. Let's just play the game. Um, but this is a uh, multiplayer game. Um, as Road to Leningrad is my favorite scenario in this game right now. Um, and there's no video content for it. So I'm going to um, do a uh, uh, Let's Play miniseries. So I am playing as the Axis. 16 um, and let's uh, let's boot right in. Um, so I've played this scenario a couple times. I've never beaten it, so maybe we uh, maybe we can do it together on stream. Um, so I'll be taking just my first turn today. Um, the turn summary is not much to look at for the first turn. I mean, a bunch of nothingness, uh, no losses. We haven't done any supplies. Haven't moved any freight. No order of battle changes, no points, whatever. So for those who aren't familiar, um, either with the Eastern Front or with the scenario, um, you really have, oops, you really have three major components. You have the 18th Army, um, which is here in purple. You have me, which is this kind of uh, duller, kind of fuchsia color. And then you have the Fuzzer group, which is pink. Um, and for illustration's sake, we're actually going to set um, this Panzer group to like kind of this burnt orange just to make it super clear um, and you also have these white units and these white units are kind of free agent uh, cores you have the uh, 50th core and you have the um, 23rd core now these you can kind of assign to one of those three armies your taste the situation I usually put one in 16th and one in the 18th um, and kind of overall general strategy that I like to do and you know it's not seated so well I don't even know if this is a good idea but this is what I usually tend to do is up and use it to kind of take this area and eventually do most of the heavy lifting and holding out on this river here the Lovat uh, and kind of have a line that stretches from Veleki Luki to the bottom of Lake Ilmen um, hold this, and then I bring my Panzers in to clear some of this area here. Meanwhile, 18th Army is coming up into Estonia and taking Talon, and then moving in this way. And then the Panzers and the 18th Army and some all come up and start to siege Leningrad. Uh, if I can get this flank secure, uh, and I will have to lightly secure it, because I'm going to need as much force as um, uh, as far as my supply, uh, planned supply route, I usually like to go up through Kaunas to Villainous, um, up through Dog Dogapils. Dogapils is a main stage, will then supply Piskov, which will be more supply everything up in Leningrad. Maybe late can come up into Novgorod, but I usually don't see the point. Um, Veleki Luki is a very difficult task. That's like a very, you know, taking that is going to be very difficult because you can only really delegate a couple of units um, defended. But we'll see if the opponent does defend it. Situation report, we're going to skip that. And we're going to go to the air phase. So I'm just going to do AI assist just to generate some, some material to work with. And they have uh, given me... Two recons, a ground attack for all of Army Group North, uh, which is fine. I am attacking with all fronts, but moving forwards, I am going to want to focus my ground support to where I really think I'm... Usually the combat when it's moving through Estonia, and the 16th Army is seeing the brunt, because the 16th Army, once again, is going to be taking this city. It's going to be taking that city. It's going to be taking that city. Um, 16th Army really does, of course, depending on whether it uh, is up here. So, uh, in the air phase, we have some recon, which is fine. Uh, I, I don't necessarily really need the recon for turn one. Uh, maybe I just to save my my planes. I don't think I need. I don't think I need any recon. Um, I kind of do like just kind of know what I'm getting into here. I, I've played the opening so many times, and they don't have a chance to move their units. I 
need the recon. Um, ground attack is going to be bombing air bases. Um, this is something I'm going to kind of city because I really want to neuter their air force because their ground support or their um, air superiority and th them interfering with my ground support can be kind of a problem. So I'm going to kind of turn this up a little bit just to see what happens. I, I don't, I can't say that I'm good at this game enough to be able to predict how this is going to affect things. We're going to leave this on auto. Fine. Um, and then ground support army group north. Okay, so let's um, let's give this a shot. Let's say good luck. And uh, let's do it. Now we're going to get our operational. Um, would you get to our Ooh, quite high. Quite high. Oh, are they that high? To I mean, I guess that could have gone better. We the majority of their down here. We killed 24 of their and our Jukas. Pretty good. And then we destroyed 77 and 50. I-53s? What are I-53s? Are those bombers? Oh, oh, fighters. Okay. That's great. Honestly, fine. So they're not really going to have any air support. But man, we really... What, what were all those, those losses? Um, lost. 25. Damaged. So what, 60? Okay. That could have gone better. 70. That could have gone better. Um, but I suppose losing 46 planes isn't the worst thing in the world. You know what? We're just going to move on. And let's do the ground phase. Now, um, I like to go uh, 18th Army, then 16th Army, then Panzer Group, and that's what I'm going to do. So my classical kind of approach here, um, and I've played this scenario so many times, um, I'm kind of a creature of here. I like to make more breakthroughs to break their. Um, I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to bring this right here. And I'm going to bring their HQ up. And now I like to attack from here into there. And from here into there to kind of blow open this hole and this hole. And then bring um, this core. Where is it? This core. Um, 26 core around and surround everything and kind of isolate this pocket um, and kind of neutralize it. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, first, I guess I will assign this to the 18th Army. Great. Um, and let's do it. First attack of the uh, scenario, a quick attack. Actually, there's my air support. Great. We will use this to neutralize this defensive surrender. 20 bombers. And we are going to clear. Oops. Oh, oh no, that was right. 86 infantry. We are going to clear this out. So that kind of did some of the beginning of that. Um, and let's do the same up here. We'll get that to surrender. Let's clear this out. Okay. And that should be good enough to bring this through. So we're going to bring this in here. Come around. Bring this here. Come around. Great. Now all of these are isolated. We have three very weak fortification um, units. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have these pictures and not a, I don't have the NATO symbols, um, it's because I this on NATO unit symbols. Um, so let's I could say like I, uh, you know I don't really need to clear out these fortified units doesn't really make that much of a difference to me but into here so I do want to clear this out when I attack 
here, they will route. I think I'm gonna do it with these police. Uh, so I wanna keep these guys fresh to surround and neutralize these tanks. Oh, they were scouted. Um Okay. So I will have to do it with this infantry division. And I'm gonna do a quick attack. That should be good enough. They're losing all of their planes. It's really phenomenal here. Now our, our ground support's coming through unopposed. We cleared them out. Great. And now I want to surround and neutralize this tank as much as I can. Which isn't going to be much, it looks like. Like, I want to bring this around here. I could also just go for it and do a big attack here and just try to really... 236? Let's go. Let's go. 271. Pretty good. Pretty good. Great. And now we'll just push up some of the Texas to either to move through later. Um, because units have an easier time moving through kind of hexes that you took to turn rather than trailblazing and kind of flipping the red hexes. So um, units will be able to move farther and you kind of sequentially move this one up to here, the next one can go that far, the next one can go that far, um, and so forth. All right, so let's move their HP up. Now this one infantry division, 291st, I usually use that to come take this and take this and kind of clear out this whole kind of area. So that's what I'm gonna do. So my first move is gonna move it up here. Quickly attack that, grab the route. We're gonna move to here, and then we're gonna attack this. And usually that is that usually. You know, I've played this enough that I know that this is kind of a given. Um, great. And I can move on to it, and I can keep going. So now this port um, is damaged, we're gonna uh, initialize some priority repairs because we want to be able to ship out through there. Um, and usually I do put the 18th Army HQ up here. Um, it does have some construction units, which is good. So let's get that repaired up, um, and let's get the uh, supplies flowing through it for next turn. Okay, moving on. I think we have two more cores left with the 18th Army. Oh no, we have, yeah, we have two more. Okay. So the next one is this big core, three units. Um, I want to use that to kind of clear uh, this path away because I am going to eventually want to bring the Panthers all the way up through and take Riga, take Dog Pills. I mean, my two operational goals for turn one is to take Riga and to take Dog of Pills. Um, so that's kind of what I'm prepping to do here. So I'm going to take the first infantry division, move it up. Great. Move it up and clear that out. And we'll clear this out. Great, we cleared off all of that space. And now we can kind of start to paint a path. Um, so we're going to start by going here. I hope we've got a motorized division. I do think this is going to need to go, um, but that's kind of a tougher fight. This might have to end up being surrounded just because I don't want to waste a deliberate attack clearing that out. Um, okay. They held, however, because they do have a fort level. Okay, so I'm going to need to use one of the really route them out of there. That was fine. Um, this is going to have to be surrounded and neutralized. I'm going to use the security division to come around the back of this and surround it. I'm not going to... I don't know. No, I want to keep moving. Um... Do you want to clear this out? We'll need to retreat. 
not great. On. Yeah, there's a road there. Um, so this is kind of the area. I need. I really, really want. I want to get up here. Um, this does need to go. I need to get that out of here. Um, bring this last one all the way up here. Route all of this stuff away. Like we need to do up the support it. Get you out of here. See how many tanks we get. Now this final core we can use to get a little bit aggressive, I think. Yeah, we're going to use it to take this. We'll see. No, that's, that's too risky of an attack. Moving on, um, we are going to use the infantry divisions of the Panzer groups, uh, which will eventually be reassigned to a different HQ, but for now it's okay. We're going to use them to kind of clear away all three of these hexes um, so we can really start. And I think this is just a uh, security division, just so we can really start moving in. And I don't want to attack across the river. Chasing them. Great. Not this way. We want this to come over and around through here. This is surrounded. And we can sedate it. Oh no. I do want to do the 16th Army before I do the Panzer group. Just so I can get a full scope. Now, with the 16th Army, I do want to. Take count us at least. I do want to not get stuck in this heavy woods, which I tend to do with the 16th Army. Stay right here, right along this road. Um, so I do want to start bringing them north. I do kind of a large and break this into regiments. Start building a little bit of a wall. We're going to use this back line to kind of clear out some of the take as much land as we want, or not as much as we want, but as much as we, uh, you know, a lot. With some of these units, we're going to clear out south. Now last time I played this scenario, a uh, game that I actually still have going on, there was a unit hidden out here, oh no, hidden out up here that I just completely forgot about or didn't see, I had bad recon, and then while all of my forces were like up here, it just snuck and cut off my supply line. So I'm going to make sure that doesn't avoid this heavy wood. So that was such a mistake from last game. Um, I just want to make sure this army keeps moving, keeps moving north. I don't usually play temporary motor, uh, motorizations. I don't, I just, I don't think I'm good enough to do the cost benefit of that. They seem a little overpowered, but there are many who did. I'm going to first assign here.
great. Reagent and 16th R. Maybe that could be split up and start to kind of squeeze in through here. It's not a bad idea. Now with this core right up the middle, this is the main kind of body of the attack. Use this to help isolate and destroy that next turn. Great. And now for the Panthers. Now I have to be careful with this to not. Well, let's use my security division. Isolate. Surround some of and now for my Panzers. I'm gonna use the so right operational goals here is Daga Pills and Riga. If I don't get Daga Pills this turn, that's fine. Um, because I have to repair all the uh, Yeah, so I do have to eventually come up. Let's actually see how much I can get done here. Yeah, I can't even get any farther than that. So next turn. Doesn't even matter right now. Um, but I do want to take Riga or get as close as possible. So I like to... I have two panthers from one. Uh, has two panthers and a motorized. One panzer and a motorized. One panzer and the one motorized. This one. I'm going to use this one to go to the right. So let's break the motorized and let's start going. Now I do want to be careful not to put myself in a position where I'm going to get cut off super easily. So I'm going to trailblaze the and then split this up and kind of set nice little defensive points to prevent a really drastic cutoff. Yeah, this is going to get reassigned, and let's put it on the 10th core. Great. Signed. And we can put it on the 10th core. All right, last core. This one is going to be Riga while trying to clear these guys. I'm actually going to use this um, SSC. So many tanks destroyed. So Goblin's got to go. Shits. Great. Just motorized. Um, it would be nice to, to cut this off, but I don't think... I do want to do So... this. I don't need Riga this turn. It would be nice. I don't really want to give them the chance to fortify. Um, I do just want to keep them anything tricky. I want to get across the river. Let's split this up. Two 
lucky with this. I'm gonna send this motorized. No, too late. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're approaching my goals here. These guys are routed. They could try to. If they would just. Leave. I think needs to. He's gonna try to escape through here and cut me off. I know it. I need to avoid that somehow. That could help. I think I'm spread a little too thin here. I think I've made some pretty bad mistakes. But we'll see what happens, you know? Um, my rail unit only got that far. I'm not trying to attack down there again. I'm fairly pleased with my progress. I'm going to bring Army Group North up to help. Uh, auto, we'll see what the I have for me as far as supply and demo, which is great. Say this is done. Um, curious to see. I mean, I'll know what the skill level is here because if I was him. I use this to cut my panzers off, but we'll see if he does have to save it and retreat. Uh, this turn, I'm definitely going to try to establish this line, bring the 6th Army all the way up as fast as I can, avoid some of this terrible terrain. Um, 18th Army is going to rush up to this river and establish this river as our first kind of checkpoint. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and end that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is going to go on YouTube as episode one of the Let's Play. Um, and I hope uh, you enjoy watching this unfold. Um, this has been Theater of War. Uh, thank you and goodbye.